All right, you guys, so we got this. We're gonna do this board right here. It is kind of uneven a little bit from one side, right there. So we're gonna try to try these first. We got the shims. If I don't like how this works, which I think it will, I'm gonna go with what they gave us with the clamps. So let's get that started and uh, see how it goes. So let's go, let's do it. All right guys, so I put these two dogs right here. I seen this other video that does this too. Sedge, pretty sure you guys know him. Um, I didn't see him put these. I don't know if it was for the, you know, to speed up the process a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it because I know these tend to like move a little bit. I'm gonna secure them really good. Um, I know it takes a little bit extra time, but just try to do this the correct way. So let's, let's do it. All right, so after that's done, before you tighten it up, you wanna, you wanna put the shim on it. So this one's, put it on this side, which I think that's it. I should do it right there. You push that one in, tighten it up, put this one in, make sure they're straight, okay? Push that one. Already from the looks of it, I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna need these or these. Again, if you don't have those, this is the way to go. What, what, whatever they give you, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera angle to another side so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, guys. So I'm gonna lower this part right now uh, to get it to you know to the. So I shimmed up this side and back here. Now we're we're good. It's good. This ain't going nowhere. The only um, these tables, uh, MDFs or MFT, sorry, from Festival. These are terrible for this. So, just the FYI, if you guys ever plan on getting one. Um, actually, this shit might be in the way when I'm sliding it. So let's just put it a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna lower this, get it down to the to the level of the cutting board. Right here, what you want to do is put it flat to the cutting board, and then whatever little notches on here, you bring it one up. So it could be, uh, you know, enough space to move the lead around, you know. So let's see. I might, just from the looks of it, I might have to do the cutting board back more to make this, yeah. All right, guys, so I decided not to move the cutting board. I don't think it's going to affect it. We'll find out. Like I said, I'm, I'm learning as I go as well. So, all right, so now what you want to do is find the lowest point, which I'm going to guess it's this corner right here, or maybe even this corner. Same thing there, just a little bit. Okay. So there you go, that's, that's about it. Um, I'm doing this out here on my porch just cause um, I know it could get messy. I don't wanna get my garage all full of sawdust and stuff. So I got printers in there and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I moved out here. A few things here before we continue. Forget your eyeglasses. You don't wanna, this for your lungs or for your ears. I know a lot of people don't do all this. I was one of them. But as the ears keep going, <laughs> my ears, uh, I could tell my ears are not liking loud noises anymore. I could tell my lungs are not liking dust anymore. And my eyes, I could tell, are getting pretty bad too. So there it is. Let's do
All right, guys, so definitely, definitely a game changer with this. I don't think you need a big router. One of these will be fine or whatever you got. It's fine. Um, I only 5.0 I only finished one little bar on it. And these are older batteries too, so they got better ones. But anyways, that's not what this is about. This thing is a game changer for sure. I love it. If you guys are into making cutting boards, completely recommend this. I got I got the other one too that they offer the bigger one. But that's for that's for merely another big big um slabs of wood um i bought that one because i was doing a table at one time and uh have it used it have it used it since maybe one more time for, to make some nightstands but if i had this at the time i could have probably used this for the nightstands this is really good i like it i'm gonna be using it more often um than i think uh sawdust i don't think it would have made a difference with the uh, dust collector um because the bit if you see under there it's like it's it's out there dude it's not gonna collect nothing maybe just a little just a little bit but not much but uh other than that yeah dude if you guys are in need of one of these completely recommend it like i said a little bit pricey but that's woodpeckers that's what they not one of the things they're known for but most of all making good uh good tools like this so again thumbs up for this all right peace